I hear shots coming on the low from holes I'm hiding This attention is so flattering cause they admire it Don't know what's on their mind but it should be the time How y'all doing? Y'all already know who it is. Today I'm gonna be taking over mom's channel, uh, doing the honey bun cake as y'all requested. Uh, got it from my grandma who taught me how to do it when she came down here, so I'm gonna be showing y'all how to do it. If y'all like it, then give it a thumbs up. What you will need for this cake is one large bowl, one 13 by 9 pan, one box of Pillsbury yellow cake mix, four eggs, brown sugar, ground cinnamon, vanilla extract, powdered sugar, milk, oil, eight ounces of sour cream, and two measuring cups. So, first, you will need to put the yellow cake mix in the large bowl. Hey guys, it's your girl. I'm holding a camera, you guys, for him. <laughs> then, eight ounces of sour cream with the cake mix. And it's actually eight ounces, you guys. You can find it at Walmart. So make sure you put all of it in. And like he said, this is my mom's recipe, but she makes her cake homemade. But you know, of course, we're gonna take the ease away, okay? And use this yellow <laughs> cake mix. It still tastes pretty good. It's actually really good. After that, you want two thirds of oil into the large bowl with the other ingredients. My son think he'll chef, y'all. <clears throat> well, him and my husband. Him and his father literally have cooking competitions all the time because... And I win every single time. Oh, my God. He think he's a chef, y'all. Okay. Make sure you put that oil, honey. That's how the cake gonna come out. Good and moist. Okay? Okay. Last, you will need to add four large eggs to the large bowl. Let's make sure he don't crack no um, shells in there, y'all. I do this. This is my second job. Look at that. His second job, y'all. Y'all know he the quarterback of the football team. Y'all can't tell him now. He think he's super fine. Super fine. On a scale of 10, I'll probably be like 16. <laughs> <laughs> this cake is bomb, y'all. Bomb. A lot of you guys was asking on Snapchat when y'all seen him make this for Thanksgiving. And you guys requested it, so... There it is. And uh, my mom do not use a blender. She uses this like little spatula thing. And you literally just stir it up until it's mixed. Like, so he's just going to stir this up really, really good. We have a blender that we could use. But my mom says. You got to use love. You got to what? You got to use love. <laughs> he said you got to mix it with love, y'all. Mix it with love, honey. So once he mixes, all he's gonna do, what do you do with the um, pan over there? You oil it before you put the batter in. So he's just gonna oil the pan with a little bit of oil, not too much, cause you got enough oil in the cake. You gotta make that with love. Let me, it's a little blurry. Yeah, there it is. Y'all can see real good now. He just going to mix this really, really good. And talking about a moist cake, y'all, this is a moist cake. We don't do no dry cakes now. You can't, you can't, y'all know we from the South. Can't do no dry cakes. But, yeah, he just going to mix it up really, really, really good and put it in the oven. On three, you already preheated the oven, right? On 325. Yeah, 325 for... 20 minutes or until you stick a toothpick in it and nothing comes off and then it's good and done so yeah you gotta get the oil everywhere so the cake don't stick but you gotta wash your hands first because if you don't that's just nasty <laughs> that's right wash your hands 
It's gonna be a lot of people eating this cake. Oh, the oven is ready. So you wanna go ahead and put the uh, cake mix in there? Yeah. He about to wash his hands again. What this is right here is one compacted cup of brown sugar and a tablespoon and a half of ground cinnamon. Compact means, you know, like, switch down like that. And then once you put them in, you're supposed to mix them like that. And that's how it looks, you guys. So it's just brown sugar and cinnamon. He's going to show you guys exactly how you put this in the cake before. I mean, the cake batter before you put it in the oven. You have to put this in there before you put it in the oven. So I'm going to show you guys. Now, since you have the oil pan and the brown sugar mixture, big boy word, you want to put half of the... Oh, my God. <laughs> I cannot laugh. I'm holding this camera. You got to put half of the cake mix in there like this. Yeah. So you just want to put half of the cake mix in, you guys. Just half. Look at that. That could be one of them satisfying videos. <laughs> oh, like oh Snapchat, them satisfying videos. I was talking about on YouTube. Oh, uh, is that is that more than half? No, there's still all this stuff. Okay. So that's about half, you guys. You pretty much have to eyeball it to know, you know. Actually, I'm a pro, so I don't eyeball anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I do what I need to do. So what are you about to do now? Actually, I should probably, you know, like. Yeah, that cake gonna be good and moist, y'all good and moist so basically he just spreading it out evenly the half mixture all right now you want to put all the stuff in there all the brown sugar and cinnamon all of it oh excuse me you guys yeah this is the type of cake you make and then you go in the back room and eat it by yourself <laughs> It's really good, you guys. Like, it's to the point to where you just don't want to share, but you have to because you got kids. You know, like, I guess <laughs> family is important when you're making cake. <laughs> oh, he said he guessed, y'all. He guessed family is important. When you're making cake. He's being funny, you guys. Please don't take, please don't take us seriously. Yeah, so. be like, oh, he said family's not important. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anything you cook with love, you guys, it's always going to turn out amazing. Okay? And it looks so you bomb. You also have to have skill, though. Like, if you make it with love, it can still be nasty. But. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to have skill. Oh. He's being funny, you guys. So you have to get it all evenly. Well, it don't have to be even, really, because you're just going to stir it all up. It's about to go down. 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 Make sure you, know, you get all that out of there. I feel like I'm going to be mean and not tell nobody. Oh, never mind. This is a video about him. <laughs> oh, he did not want to share this recipe, you guys. He wanted to just keep the recipe, but you guys wanted him to make it. So we're sharing it with you guys because we love y'all so much. What happened? <laughs> oh, that looks so good there. A piece of it dropped and it made that. Now that the cake mixture is over the brown sugar, you want to swirl the brown sugar into the cake. But don't hit the bottom, because the bottom, if you hit the bottom, it's going to mess up the cake. 
Right now, the cake is cooling off, but instead of putting it in for 20 minutes, put it in for 35 minutes. It does take a little bit more time to cook. Right now, we're just making the icing with powdered sugar. We need a little bit over two cups of powdered sugar. Because this is powdered sugar, so once you add that milk, it's going to soak up so easily, like you guys will see. And then after that, you want, well, it doesn't really matter how much milk you add, it's to the consistency of your liking. So that's about how much? That was about three tablespoons. Stir it. And then after the milk, you need one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then you stir it. You need to add more powdered sugar? Yes. He's going to add a little more powdered sugar, you guys. Because you don't want it to be too thick, but you don't want it to be too soupy either. Not as thick as pancake mix. You know, like icing. Yeah, if that makes sense. So this is how the cake should look after you let the icing sit for 10 minutes and let it harden. So, yeah, if you liked the video, go down, click the thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys follow me on Snapchat and Instagram if you guys do decide to use this recipe so I can see how it turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed my son taking over my channel because this is his little recipe. My mom helped him um, make this cake when she was here. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time, you guys. Bye. We out. Maybe your picture perfect, your smile God made it perfect Don't let nobody tell you different Baby, you're so worth it, you was beautiful in every way When I'm describing it, it's all I say